Right, everybody. So Marge has just completed her uh, school assessment. Normally through the assessments, actually, the arena of uh, assessment comes a little bit earlier, but this is actually at the final part of her um, assessments. We've done everything else before. So um, those of you that don't know Marge, she is 15 to, and we've measured her on the stick. She measures full up, if not a touch above, um, on a withers and she's all horse. So there's no wither to her actually guys. So um, she's definitely up to height. She's rising eight years old. So she's a fab um, age. And as you can see, she's a great type, a real nice, cob but a sportier cob type so she'd be like on a lightweight cob um or cob cross sports or so however you want to think of her um she passed her pre-purchase vet check as we all have to do now for her to come to us we had her vetted for um general use pleasure riding local shows hunting um and just general all round activities she passed um the vet made nice comments about her so she was very manly said she moved extremely well um commented that um in the recent times horses prices have rocketed and he's been vetting horses that have not been as nice as her but have been a lot heftier on the price so um he also commented that she was an extremely good find which is a nice comment to have from a vet um you, you may have heard some of her info so far, guys, but she's been, she's come from a riding school. She's been there just over a year. Um, she's been very well looked after, as you can see. Super smart mare, she is. Recently clipped. She's had a, um, a trace clip. So it's a little bit dark in here, guys, but you can see her there. Actually, that was quite a good light there. Um, so she's got a, a trace clip and she has been hogged. She does still have a forelock. That is some... Some people like to do that, leave the forelock on. We've left it on, so it's personal preference. I would take it off, but that's my personal preference. Um, you can see she's a nice weight. She's up to weight. She's um, up to date with everything. Vaccinations, teeth. Um, she's continued to have her riding school vet checks as they have to, and she's passed those. So she's in, um, so her health has been kept um, up to date. So that's great. As I say, she's been in the riding school now for just over a year. Previous to that, she actually belonged um, to somebody who had bought her. Obviously, she was only a six-year-old then, um, five, rising six. And they put a lot of work into her. To be honest, that really does show, actually. You can really see that in her um, flat work and her jumping. She was educated and she was experienced. She went and she did local level stuff but she also did fun rides and cross country got some photos of her very impressive actually jumping cross country jumps um she did all of that she hacked both alone and in company was used for a general everything um riding school bought her and made the most of her education and her nice mannerly way um however this riding school um they're all different but this particular riding school does no hacking so the horses um, are purely school horses and each horse is um has is expected to work at around 10 hours a week in the school so 10 hours a week schooling guys with not a hack in sight is a lot um so she's done 10 hours a week schooling she's been used from beginners all the way up to experience and everybody in between which she's done that for the last 12 months but she's actually the riding school said that she's got quite disinterested and quite lazy um and they feel that her at this, this age of rising eight she could go and have a life doing something that was perhaps better suited a different environment so a good 12 months on the school with 10 hours a week schooling, guys. She's put her uh, shift in there, I think. But as you can see, she's a real quality. We tend to adopt the motto at the minute, quality over quantity, because horses are extremely difficult to find. And I'm absolutely sick of looking 24-7 for horses. So we're definitely looking for the quality over the quantity. I think you can see in this camera, you can definitely see the quality. Um, 
Marge, along with all the others now, have to have a pre-purchase um, vetting, as we've just discussed, and a full form filled out with all of their information. So the information passed on from the riding school is that that has been her workload, including flat work and jump lessons. She's had the occasional in summer when they've um, loaded up and gone out uh, for a pleasure ride. She's been used on those a handful of times and she's been absolutely faultless. Um, really has been popular for that one. But, you know, a hack a couple of times a year is not going to break up the 10 hours a week, for, especially for a lovely young horse like her. Um, so her, the riding school feels that a change of environment would be ideal. I tend to agree. Um, so what we've done this week is we've hacked her out a few times in company. Bearing in mind, guys, she's not hacked out for the last 12 months, certainly not in traffic. So we wouldn't expect to take a horse out of a riding school environment, expect them to be boldly out hacking alone. We haven't asked her to do that, nor are we going to ask her in the time she's with us. Um, but we, we do expect her to hack well in company, which is exactly what she has done. We've taken her on road and off road. We've taken it, Nikki's taken her down the main road in the heavy traffic. She's very, very good in the heavy traffic. We've had uh, off road, we've had uh, emus, <laughs> had the emu experience. We've had cows, sheep, goats, um, donkeys, not just our own donkey. Um, we've hacked past those. So we've done all that with her. As I say, we've done off-road and on-road. We've done lanes and she's been very sensible. She's snaffle mouth. The only reason she's in a grackle bridle, guys, is it's because that bridle fits her nicely. She does not need a grackle nose band. She's okay. She's okay in the, a normal caversin. Like Nikki just said, she's extremely light in the mouth. Um, we found her to be very well-mannered and easy to do. We've got our horses in 24-7 at the minute and she's absolutely golden. She has been used to going out in a herd in the riding school and has been equally fine. She's shod only in front, but her the riding school says she's perfect to shoe and good as gold to shoe behind, but as they haven't had done, done any hacking, there was no need. Um, what else can we say? So... Here we've had a loaded on a seven and a half ton and a three and a half ton. She's traveled alone and traveled very well, very patient. Transporters gave us an excellent feedback on how she was and said, can, we, can they all be like her? She loaded and traveled excellent. She's very patient when you get to the other end. So that bodes well for those of you that want to take, perhaps take one out for fun rides or local shows or anything like that. Um, she's come here straight into the indoor and it's so dark outside guys it's so dark we've had to have the lights on and they still haven't lit the school up particularly great because it is just so dull and dusty uh, outside so um, in here we've put her through a pace she moves absolutely beautiful real elastic paces especially for her type um, she's very consistent and puts herself in an outline the vet actually commented on that as well to be honest but she puts herself in an outline and she stays there she's um she is a little bit lazy guys she's definitely you can tell that the school job uh, well you've hacked her out and rode her in the school nick is she a step down in the school yeah. yeah so she's a gear down in the school so we are looking for a varied home for her especially just um until you know that she sort of forgets the factory life if you like of being in the school 24 7 um but she actually rides beautifully well and it would be a shame for her flat work to go to waste. So I do think once she's in a varied home, she would ride a beautiful um, dressage test, really nice. But she is on the more slow than go. Steady, I'd say, guys, just very steady. She's very rhythmical paced. You will have seen that on the video anyway. So I'm saying that, but the visual will be attached to this. Um, Picks up the correct canter lead. She rides a leg yield, all that sort of stuff. She's good as gold to tack up, very good to mount. And actually jumping, guys, she's got a real jump on her. Um, there is some photos of her jumping cross country previous to the riding school. And you would see that there's plenty jump there. Plenty jump. I mean, she'd be amazing out on the hunt field because I don't think there's much out on the hunt field that she wouldn't jump. She's got more than enough jump. 
Um, we've just popped her over a few fences in here, but it is very dark. I don't know if you can just see, well, it perhaps looks lighter on the camera, but it's quite dark. She's popped straight round and over the jumps. Um, Nikki wasn't expecting quite as, as good a jump as she's got really, because she's quite steady, but no, she's a fab little jumper. So it'd be great to see her go and enjoy that and do a little bit more. So we are looking for somebody who wants a horse to do a varied amount of things and um, appreciate the quality that she is and the lovely natured horse that she is, for sure. But understand a horse that's coming out of a riding school that just needs to make the transition into private horse. Um, she can stay here to have that done, that's no problem. Obviously that will reflect in her price. Um, horses like this don't come on the market very often and definitely um, not in a reasonable price budget either. Um, so yes guys, she will. Um, you will see all the hacking videos but she'll not be hacking alone here. Um, that's at the moment, unless she's not sold of course then we will do that but I can't see this horse not being sold. So this is Marge. Uh, many of you are going to ask the price bracket. Um, I can't remember what the coloured hearts are. She's either in the orange or the brown, guys. I actually can't memorise them. But she's definitely in the upper heart ranges, not the lower. So anybody who wants clarification for that, obviously you can just drop me a message. Thanks, guys. Over the speed bump. <laughs> okay, now. That's really good seeing as we've got that horse there. Look guys, there's a horse there as well. She's rode away from. A speed bump here, no, I know. I, 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 you can't see the speed bump on the video, but yeah, I know it's there. Oh yeah, she's over. <laughs> <laughs> 